The total tokens you'll get from the pass and completing the missions will be 1500. The pass itself should cost 1650 RP. I recommend using a mix of these methods to stop yourself getting bored or going crazy. Use method 1 for 3000 plus tokens. Use any method and play at least 15 hours per week for 2200 tokens. So the first method is a low effort TFT. AFK won't work. So if you don't know, they've added an AFK check for League event missions. I recommend using this method while you're doing other tasks, such as watching Netflix or YouTube, studying or doing chores around the house or whatever it is you're doing. So use this method on a computer or on your mobile phone. Now make sure every 30 to 60 seconds you're performing an action in the game, such as spending gold, moving champions around or leveling up. To start off with, what you're going to want to do is surrender or FF at 10 minutes and you're going to do this for a few games until you you end up in AFK or low MMR games. So if you surrender or lose enough games, your MMR will drop. This is where you're going to be able to farm the most tokens. So for example, I did this during the Worlds event. So first example, I got six tokens in 11 minutes. The second example, I got eight tokens in 13 minutes. The third example, I got six tokens in 10 minutes. In another example I got 8 tokens in 18 minutes. So in this clip we'll be able to see how to maximize this method. Once it hits 10 minutes what I recommend doing is waiting a little bit to see if anyone else in the lobby surrenders the game. So in this clip three players quit at once. So I waited for that and that jumped me up to fifth place. So that's two extra tokens just for waiting that little bit extra. So since three people have quit I can now surrender and I'll get a couple of extra tokens. So this was at the start so when my MMR wasn't the lowest for 15 minutes I got four tokens that was a good start but we can do better so we're gonna keep doing this until our MMR keeps dropping down I'll also note TFT games will count towards missions however they have decrease the points earned by about 50% but if you're farming tokens anyway no matter what method you're doing you'll be able to complete these missions and milestones so here again at 10 minutes I wait a few seconds just in case other players surrender and two players have quit so now I surrender and I'll get two extra tokens at 10 minutes so a total of four tokens in 10 minutes just for waiting that little bit extra so every TFT game once it hits 10 minutes have a look around the board and see if there are any other AFK players that you can beat by scouting around I notice there are three AFKs so what I'll do is put a couple of champions on the board so as the game progresses I'll overtake them and place higher so now that all the other AFKs have lost the game, I'm top four, so just surrender the game and that's six tokens in 16 minutes. The reason Riot added AFK detection is quite a few players were abusing the system. They were also using programs and scripts and emulators on their computer. They would set up eight accounts to join a game together and then all FF at 10 minutes and letting one of those accounts place in the top two to maximize tokens. Players were abusing the system and they were ending up with 70 skins or 40,000 tokens per event. AFKing in TFT isn't a punishable offense. You are allowed to AFK in TFT and you are allowed to surrender or FF. However, you won't get tokens if you AFK. The only punishable offense are if you're using scripts, emulators, farming software, or griefing teammates, etc. The second method I recommend is play AREF or ARAMs. These games will give you 6 tokens per win or 3 tokens per loss. I think AREF might be a little bit better than ARAMs. AREF are really quick, it's random, the games should end a lot faster. So for this method there are two things you can do. You can try hard to win games as soon as possible. So you want to finish the game as fast as possible and get your tokens. Another method is as a pre-made of 5 people you can FF at 8 minutes and you can keep doing this just to get your 3 tokens per 
per game. This is a pretty boring way, but I know people do use this method. Here's a couple of examples I found on Reddit of people doing this. Another person is saying the fastest way to get tokens is to get a five man and run a ram, a riff, and ff at eight minutes. And the third method is play normals and ranked. This is the worst method due to long defeats. So if you're trying to farm tokens, I don't recommend doing this. And it's unfortunate because a lot of you probably enjoy playing normals and ranked. Due to the possibility of being stuck in a long defeat, you're wasting a lot of time playing these modes. Thanks so much for watching, I'll see you next time.